call this meeting of the Hampshire County Commission to order. We will begin with a moment of self meditation and prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. from State of West Virginia Department of Military Affairs and Public Safety, approval of West, of, approval of Upshur County Emergency Zone Map Adjustments. Number three, Adrian Public Service District, fiscal year 2011 and 2012 auditor's report. And that's on file in the Office of the Upshur County Commission. Number four, West Virginia Regional Jail and Correctional Facility, February invoice, in the amount of $46,368.25. Five, Lewis Upshur Animal Control Facility, CAT Report, February 2014. Number six, Lewis Upshur Animal Control F Facility, DOC Report, February 2014. Seven, Small Cities Block Grant and Neighborhood Stabilization Program, Fair Housing Month Activity Report and Survey. Number eight, James W. Curry Scholarship Application Period. Nine agendas and or notice of meetings as listed. Ten meeting minutes and or financial reports as listed. Eleven Upshur County budget hearings as listed. Twelve meetings as listed. Thirteen appointments needed or upcoming as listed. Rick Edwards, Upshur County resident, appeared before the commission and expressed concerns about the Upshur County Commission having not provided the addressing and mapping data to the city of Buchanan for agreement, the memorandum of understanding, as discussed at the December, 20, December 5, 2013 meeting of the Upshur County Commission, quote, pending receipt of certificate of insurance, concerning information sharing of proprietary addressing and mapping data for the purpose of dispatching First response, fire and rescue. That's quoted from the December 5, 2013 minutes. Um, J.C. Raffi advised that to this day, the city of Buchanan has not provided the certificate of insurance. County and city officials signed a memorandum of understanding and Mr. Raffi advised that the commission fully intends to provide the software when the city provides documentation as required per agreement. Terry Joe Bennett, the addressing and mapping coordinator, advised that on April 4, 2011, the city was provided with username and password information to access the county's web housing site. The site contains the same data that is being requested and has been advised that to this date, the fire department has not used the website. The commission approved all invoices for payment. The commission 
approved our vacation orders. The commission approved the following settlements as listed. The commission approved the following exonerations and or refunds as listed. The commission approved the following request for time out of office as listed. The commission recessed at 11.30 a.m. The commission reconvened at 1.30 p.m. to meet the, with Sheriff David Kaufman concerning budget proposals for law enforcement, tax office service of process, and home confinement. Budget meetings are scheduled for review with county officials and department supervisors through Friday, March 14th. With no further business on the motion by Troy Brady, second by Donnie Tang, the commission meeting adjourned at 4 p.m. Thank you, Jack. Is there any, uh, are there any uh, <coughs> corrections or additions to the minutes as well? If not, I would uh, request a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Second. Having been approved and seconded, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. uh, approved. Opposed? Same sign. Motion carries. Thank you, Jackie. We still have a few minutes yet before our next uh, speaker. So we'll go to the items of discussion, action, approval. We have a request for approval list of poll workers, alternates, and emergency ballot commissioners for May 13, 2014 primary election. Uh, Commissioners have had a chance to review that list. If you have, uh, have no, uh, no comments concerning that list, I would request there be a motion to approve uh, the uh, poll workers, alternates, and emergency ballot commissioners. Second. second. Having uh, been approved and seconded, uh, all in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Uh, on the same sign, motion carries. Next, we have a request for approval of community participation grant. Two grants in the amount of $11,000, one for six, one for five, relative to the repairs of the youth camp bridge at the uh, Selbyville Youth Camp. Uh, those grants, again, uh, are, are uh, let's see, 613, let me get that right here. Those are from the uh, community participation grant program and uh, set forth uh, repairs for the bridge, which is the sole access to the youth camp. That bridge now is in fair condition, but uh, without uh, tension, will uh, become more, more critical in the future. So we're taking steps to uh, repair that uh, bridge at the present time. Uh, is there any discussion on that uh, motion? If uh, not, uh, well, we also have to approve my, my signing the grant. Right. Uh, just the, that's the uh, the only bridge that the Upper County Commission owns. We did own the one over Cleveland Avenue that was rebuilt, and the state could get over. And for some reason, when the state took over the highway system, we ended up with some bridges. Um, and I believe Gary's working on uh, getting a request for the state to take um, take yeah. that back over because I know I, I spoke with. Senator Barnes some time ago and he said, I mean, I think we've done this once, but we need to do it again and send a request to Charleston and ask them to take over the bridge and, then, Excuse and me. contact all our representatives and ask them to help us to make that happen. So I think that will be a something that uh, if we can make that make that work. We've had several attempts that have been successful. So based on that, then I will move <coughs> to approve uh, the application and authorize the, the uh, president's sign of the grant applications. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Mr. Layton, I believe you are scheduled for 915, and by my observation, it appears to be 915. Okay. And Mr. Layton, Joseph Layton, who represents West Virginia Community Builders LLC, and he has a request for letter of unqualified support for a Senior Center development known to be known as Sunny Buck Gardens. Is that correct? Uh, it's not a senior center. I'm not senior, I'm it's sorry. It's family. Low income. Okay. Housing project. Okay, sorry. Apologize for that. That's okay. Uh, thank you very much for um, allowing me to appear. Uh, just to refresh your memory, I was here uh, mid January of, of 2013 for the same purpose. Um, I need to obtain a, a support letter from the County Commission for a housing project uh, that I'm proposing to build uh, in the county. 
Uh, and of course, that letter was forthcoming, and the copy of that is here, dated January the 31st, 2013. Um, unfortunately, well, uh, the fact is that the majority of our funding comes from an allocation of tax credits, uh, which is awarded on an annual basis by the West Virginia Housing Development Fund. Uh, unfortunately, in 2013, uh, the uh, project did not score high enough uh, on their scoring system uh, to be awarded uh, tax credits, so we were not funded. So I'm in the process now of redoing the same thing for 2014. The rules of the West Virginia Housing Development Fund require that all forms and letters need to be dated within six months of the application deadline, which is May the 30th uh, of this year. So I'm requesting essentially the same letter with a current date on it. Um, I've added a small paragraph to the letter, to the draft letter that I sent, uh, I sent to Megan uh, about a week ago. Uh, to uh, help the project score higher. It doesn't have a significant impact, I don't think, on, uh, on anything other than the scoring uh, potential. And uh, my simple request is uh, if I could receive this letter uh, signed by the President of the County Commission, uh, I would be most appreciative. And uh, I am confident that this year we will win an allocation of tax credits and we will move forward as planned. Um, just another uh, addendum to that. Uh, prior to meeting last year, I sent in a fairly detailed PowerPoint presentation, which you may recall, I believe, the county administrator at the time gave copies to you three gentlemen, and, and I got the impression from the meeting that you had reviewed that information. Um, and essentially, that project remains the same as was presented in that presentation. So none of the applications met the, the qualification of last year, is that what you're saying? Statewide, or did, did you say none of the applications statewide met the, met the qualification to apply for the tax credits? Oh, no, no, not, not, not statewide. Okay. Just that my application right. was not in the list of uh, 10 projects uh, that was uh, awarded, that were awarded tax credits, and that includes the whole state, those 10 projects. So what, what, uh, what, have, what have you done differently this year that's going to increase your chances? There? Very good question. Uh, it's fairly technical, though. Um, you are required to uh, give evidence that you have funding for your, your complete uh, development. Uh, and we did that last year vis-a-vis -a, -vis a letter from a tax credit syndicator uh, that scored, that was intended to score 50 points. Uh, we were not awarded those 50 points based on a technicality. They didn't think the wording of the letter complied with the requirement of the Qualified Allocation Plan. Interestingly enough, I did the same process for a project in Gilmer County the prior year using the same wording, and it was accepted, and the project was awarded tax credits. So there seemed to have been a change of heart, which they didn't announce to the public, uh, unfortunately, um, until after the deadline. So I didn't have the opportunity to change the wording of the letter. Um, but to go above and beyond that 50 points, uh, this year we've made arrangements with a tax credit syndicator to obtain what is known as the 100 point letter, which, once again, very technical, means entering into an executed limited partnership agreement uh, at the time of application, which is quite unusual, but uh, we've managed to, well, the trend seems to be moving in that direction. And syndicators these days seem to be willing to go that extra step 
uh, to do business in the state of West Virginia. So we should be, our project should score 100 points higher than it did last year, which would put us well within the money. Um, and uh, with the 50 points last year, we would have won, but unfortunately, that's kind of the way it is in the tax credit world. Sometimes things happen and you don't find out about it until the deadlines have passed. How many units would your project consist? Um, we're doing a review of that now, but I'm thinking somewhere between 35 and 40. Any further discussion? I have a quick question for Mr. Lane. Would you remind us where your proposal site is for setting up gardens? Um, similarly, we are doing a review of the available sites um, to make sure we get the best one. I'm looking at about five different sites, and at this stage, I really don't want to um, uh, disclose exactly those locations unless we would do that in a private sort of session. Um, for obvious obvious reasons, but they're all in what is known as Census Track 9, I think it's 9668, Correct. I believe is here, uh, which is a fairly large portion of the, of the Buchanan area. Okay, thank you. No further discussion? Is there a motion to approve request for unqualified support? For Sunny Park Gardens, as requested by Mr. Well, I guess the question I don't have. The letter we had last year was it unqualified? Could seem to me like we had another uh, group. Was this the same? Was this the same uh, tax credit deal that we had another company? I think we had three different organizations. The letter we had last year was it unqualified? Yes. It was unqualified. Yes. Which meant you're the only one. Oh no 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 no! It's not okay. exclusive. Okay, so it just means you have no reservations. Oh, okay. Well, if that as long as as long as it's not exclusive, no. and it's the same as last year and it worked last year, then I, I don't have a problem with that. As long as, as long as we just want to be open, if there are others that want to do it, I mean, they, that's fair. They might have, a, they might get it, and you might not. So that's fair. We want to do what's best for the citizens of the county. So, based on that, then I, I'll move that we approve the request and authorize. President Rafferty to sign the letter. Okay. Second to that. I'll second that. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Moving down for the items for discussion, action or approval. We have a renewal of Lumos Network Service Agreement. I know that we had that issue before us several meetings ago, and we then decided to go out and determine if there was a competitive process to make sure we complied with all aspects and if you'd like to report to the commission on that. Well, I reached out to other phone networks just to see if we could get quotes and it's been about a month and none of them have returned any information for me. So we're, we're trying to get this process moving so that we can put some security um, measures into place and so after a month I thought that maybe you might want to go that again. So Lumos is the only uh, competitor that... Uh, they are the only ones that return to Okay, very good. Uh, is there a motion to renew the Lumos Network Service Agreement? So That's moved. Telephones, correct? Right? Yes. Okay. So moved. And they are our existing telephone provider as well, so it's a continuation of the same. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay, having been motion and second uh, to approve the uh, renewal of Lumos Network Service Agreement, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, say sign. Motion carries. I'm going to skip over item number four, we'll return to that in a second. And we'll go to your information items. We have correspondence from the West Virginia Division of Energy. Usher County is in compliance with the Community Impact Statement Guidelines. <coughs> These agendas will get thicker and thicker. <laughs> Uh, this is from the West, Department, West Virginia Department of Energy, addressed to the County Commission. And the purpose letter dated March 6, 2014, 
2014 is to inform uh, the commission that upon review of the county's land use master plan dated December 13, December 2013, and a review of the community impact statements we have received to our office, your county has been found to be in compliance with the community impact statement guidelines published by the Office of Coalfield Community Development. And they go on to say that their long-term mission is to provide landowners, development agencies, and community leaders with information and assistance when looking at new ways to increase economic opportunities within the coalfield counties. That requires no action on our part. Next, we have a correspondence from West Virginia Department of Transportation, statewide transportation improvement program, uh, which requires a comment period through March 26, 2014. And that is from the West Virginia Department of Transportation Division of Highways, dated March 7, 2014. The Statewide Transportation Improvements Program, STIP, is a financially constrained document required to show planned Federal Highway Administration and Federal Trans Transit Administration expenditures for Federal fiscal years 2014 through 2019. One of the requirements of funding is to reject uh, uh, funding any project with FHWA or FTA funds is that each proposed project undergo a public review and comment period. Uh, the West Virginia Department of Transportation Division of Public Transit intends to use these funds to support <coughs> Raleigh County Community Action Association in touch and concerned, Montegate County Urban Mass Transit, and the State of West Virginia for capital purchases of heavy duty American with Disabilities Act equipment vehicles, I presume those would be buses that would have special uh, features for disabled individuals, operating in the uh, substance of the administrative costs contained therein. The operating funds will be used to provide transit services for persons with disabilities and mobility issues. And in my uh, review, I think, of uh, this information, uh, I do not see that Dutcher County has any funding. It's just strictly a at a notice of uh, comment period that people in Usher County, if they wish to uh, go on record, may do so. Next, we have correspondence from West Virginia Development Office, Small Cities Labor Standards Enforcement Report Requirements. And basically, uh, this is a notification that uh, the court must be prepared to uh, prov pro provide uh, information that uh, compliance with the enforcement of labor standard provisions of the Davis-Bacon and related acts. Davis-Bacon being related to pay uh, for public works uh, projects. Uh, this uh, uh, study or report, which consists of uh, contracting activity projects for which construction contracts were awarded, which began between October 1, 2013 and March 31, 2014, and part two, environment, uh, excuse me, enforcement activity of those uh, projects. And the uh, project schedules for 2014 will be prepared by uh, Sean Whitehair, of, or Shane Whitehair of Region 7. Okay, I think that completes the information. Going back to item number four on items for discussion, okay. action, or approval, we have a termination of employment for Derek M. Lee, 911 part-time dispatcher be effective Thursday, March 20th, 2014. Uh, we will enter into executive section per uh, West Virginia Code 69A-4. And we'll therefore uh, be in recess pending that uh, executive session. Do we wish to enter that now? Uh, if we need, do we need? We need to enter that? Or um, is that just, I don't know. Or is that just? You did, um, I don't know if you want to discuss it or not. I don't think that you Okay. Necessarily have to. I mean, this is just a recommendation from Steve to us, right? Correct. I mean, unless there's unless someone, I mean, there's no personnel issue involved other than the retirement. There is a resignation, excuse me. Well, termination. Termination. Yeah. I would, uh, I would move then uh, for a motion to approve uh, the uh, recommendation. Second. Second. Okay, moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Of course, we have agendas, notices of meetings, meeting minutes, and we have additional uh, meetings scheduled. Okay, next meeting scheduled will be next Thursday at 9 o'clock. Is there any further business before the commission? If not, I 
move that we uh, recess and take care of some bills. Or not recess, we'll take care of some bills.